Only a few days ago, United managed to balls it up against Southampton and concede a last-minute equaliser to drop two points. But tonight against Crystal Palace, we got the second goal that made all the difference in a game which was nervy, clenching, watching that game, especially then that second half. But United came out on top. And for me, the man that really inspired it all was Bruno Fernandes. I really think you can have arguments for maybe David De Gea having man of the match. Bruno Fernandes, Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, United, although we weren't fluid and brilliant for the full 90 minutes, the players stepped up when they needed to at the key, key moments. Elite finishing from Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford for both of the goals. But Bruno Fernandes, for me, was the man who pulled everybody up to his level. Because United, in, in these games, when you see a team like Crystal Palace, so disciplined, sitting in their two banks of four, very difficult to break down. You need your players like Bruno to come up, step up and bring everybody else up to his level. And he was the man that orchestrated that change in tempo, the change in momentum that swung it in United's favour. Him driving through that fantastic finish from Marcus Rashford, composed to cut it from his left back to his right, sold the goalkeeper and two defenders, slot it into the bottom corner. And that goal gave United a 1-0 lead going into half-time where maybe you felt like a, a draw might have been a fair result at that point. But going into the second half, it was again nervy from United. And that goal from Ayu, I mean, technically it was offside, but you'd be annoyed if it happened to United. But that's what VAR does. Like it or lump it. And at that point, you're thinking, it's going to happen again. But it didn't. That second goal, a fantastic team move. Rashford in the key and the build-up to it. Bruno with a nutmeg pass to Rashford with a quick one to Martial. Slotted into the bottom corner, who's in the absolute form of his life. Anthony Martial. Marcus Rashford with like, what, 50? How many, how many goals between them now? I've actually lost count. Let me know in the comments below. But so many people there you could say that we're going to be man of the match. But just the, the main point you've got to take away from that is the fact that we got three points. Is the fact that we were 1-0 up. And it could have been that game where Crystal Palace got their chance and got their goal, and we dropped another two points. But we didn't. We got the second goal, which made all the difference. And it was that second goal we didn't really... Well, we got two goals against Southampton. We didn't have that two-goal cushion going in to the last 10, 15 minutes. And that's why it didn't work against Southampton. And today it worked. You know, David De Gea making key saves at crucial times. I thought he did fantastic. Harry Maguire had ups and downs. But I think largely very, very good. Lindelof, he makes a couple of mistakes a game, really. What do you think about it? Fosu Mensah, not sure if he's going to start again. Not sure if he's ever going to start again for United, really. But the fact that he was played over Diogo Dalot really goes to show how far down Diogo is in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's expectations of what United players should be. Unlike Bruno Fernandes, who I'm going to go straight back to. He's, I mean, he's the man. He really, really is the man. It's just... In these games, we've watched these games in the last few years, haven't we? We've seen this situation time and time again, where United just come unstuck against teams that sit disciplined and sit deep. But Bruno was the man that started to break the lines, to break through the middle, and instead of going horizontally, went vertically. And that challenged Crystal Palace to come out of their shape, changed the momentum of the game, and gave United the upper hand, and allowed United and Rashford to score that goal, which opened the game up a little bit. Were we fortunate to not give a penalty away for Lindelof against Zaha? If that was against United, I would have been pissed off. It didn't go to VAR. Probably would have been a penalty if it went to VAR. You have a go, you go, you have a go at VAR. That's not my decision whatsoever. But United took advantage and United went in and we got that second goal, man. And to, just, to, just to get that second goal was so crucial. And such a game-changing moment. And, you know, good look, it's the last three games of the season. Leicester beat Sheffield United. Chelsea scraped past Norwich. If we win our last three games, including that one there, we finish in the top four. It's going to be Leicester. It's going to be a cup final on that last day of the season. You know it is. But with Bruno Fernandes in the team and with Martial and Rashford finishing so brilliantly, and they're such good form. And Greenwood had a quiet game, but we really rarely used him. Wan-Bissaka had a bit of a quiet game against his former club, but I'll, I'll forgive him that. Midfield felt very robotic towards the first in the first half. And McTominay really wasn't offering much. And when Matic came on, I thought he would offer a bit more. Uh, but he offered a little bit less. He seemed a bit, a little bit shaky. It seems like these players are tiring a little bit. But Bruno Fernandes isn't tiring. And I keep going back to the Portuguese Magnifico because he really is the man that, that we've been missing for so long. Somebody who really 
not only wants to win, but will drive everybody else around him to win as well. And it's bringing everybody up at those crucial moments where United previously may have slumped. Complacency may have crept in. Lack of concentration, but not when Bruno's about. And he could have had another goal. He could have had a goal himself when he spanked it against the post. Just Bruno's great. For me, he's my man of the match. But you could easily argue for David De Gea. You could argue for Marcus Rashford. And you could argue for Anthony Mar Martial. And I think Rashford... It, He's almost turning or showing a new side to his game, more like a playmaker. It's not just goals. And it's, I think it would have been fair to say prior to lockdown, maybe, that Rashford, when I saw him scoring goals, it was the Thunderbolt finishes, the powerful finishes. But he's got a bit more to his game, it seems, since he's come back from lockdown. I might just be thinking that, but let me know what you think about that. But two points, a clean sheet. Sorry, two points, two goals, a clean sheet, three points. And United still in the chase of Champions League football next year. We win all our games. It's all in our hands. But just to see us not repeat the same mistake that we made against Southampton, that's a big, big plus for me. And Bruno, I think, is the reason it happened. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I haven't mentioned it, but I hope you like the new surroundings, the new layout that I've been making this week. Really happy with it. I think it looks sexy. So drop a like on the video if you like it too. But United, back to winning ways. That's what you want to see.